Right, hello everybody. We're out magnet fishing. Me, Deep Digger Dan, and uh, Magnetic Mazzy in the background. She's just going for it. But I thought, I was going to put this in another video, but I thought this deserves a video of its own. Okay. So I'm just going to wrap it on. Don't ignore Mazzy. You know, you can watch her magnet fishing, but that's a separate thing altogether. That's a separate video. I want to talk about scrap. Scrap which people find when the metal uh, when the magnet fishing Because there's a lot of controversy a lot of opinions people don't really know what to do with the scrap And neither do we because we're new to this hobby. So I'm putting this video out to ask your opinions Ask you know, hopefully someone from local councils will see this and tell us what we should do because we don't know We've been magnet fishing in two spots so far and we've not found anything ridiculously massive apart from big long poles. We've, we've not found shopping trolleys or safes or bikes. Um, so everything we've found has fit into a bin. Anything which hasn't fit into a bin we've left next to the bin. You know like we found something the other day it was literally about an 18 foot long pole which obviously you couldn't put that in a van, you couldn't take that anywhere and it's, I don't know, it's a bit of a what do you do with your scrap without people trying to troll you and pick on you in your videos because I've already had people saying well what are you doing with all your scrap? we don't know, that's where you come in so what I want to discuss in this video is what should we do, what should all magnet fishers do with the things they find in the lakes, the rivers, the canals. Got to remember, to start with, we are doing something good. We're clearing out the waterways. We're making them clean. That's got to be a good thing. But there's so many different things of what you could do or should do, but there isn't a real answer. I'm going to run through that list of things, okay? Number one, you find it and you put it in a bin, right? That's okay if it's small items. If it's big items that don't fit in the bin, do you leave them next to the bin? I don't know. You know, these are bins which are emptied by the council. Do you just leave it next to the bin? Number two, do you ring a scrap man? I've heard a lot of people saying, we're gonna ring the local scrap man and he's going to come and pick it up. Now, if you're in a little village like this, 20 30 miles away from a town you're not going to get a local scrap man so i can fully understand why people say it in the videos they're trying to cover their own backs but i can't see it as a viable uh, way of getting rid of your rubbish does that make sense she's going for it behind me uh number three do you ring the local council and say look we've made a little pile here next to the canal next to the river come and pick it up at your at your earliest convenience but will the council then be a bit cheesed off if they're getting calls five times a day in every local council come and pick this pile of junk up we've picked out of the canal um, because they wouldn't have had to do it if we hadn't have found it you know what I mean we're just giving them extra work but we are clearing out the canal that is the most important thing to mention here and I'd say there's two more possibilities. When you find something, most people magnet fish near bridges. And I do know for a fact some people, sorry, I'm trying to get out of the shade here. Some people leave what they find next to the bridge. Which, you know, if you're finding a safe, which people do, or a big mucky bike or a shopping trolley, and you're in a car, it's not gonna fit in there. You're not gonna be able to lift it to there surely it's better to leave it next to the bridge than I don't know is that is that another option and the last option is once you've found everything throw it back into the canal or river which for me is the worst option but I'm not making this video to try and diss anybody we all have our own ideas and I can guarantee every magnet fisher in the world wants a solution the right solution we want to do the right thing um, but we don't know what the right thing is um, you know someone coming on a video saying 
that is going to be recycled and they've just walked two miles to get to that spot and there's no roads around there you know for a fact they're not taking it back two miles but they're trying to cover their own back I don't blame them for that so we need an answer now I'm gonna do a little poll up here uh, up here where you can vote what you think is the right thing to happen I've mentioned them all I can't remember them all off the top of my head now but they'll all be in the poll up there and you vote for what you think we should do with the scrap metal if it's too big to fit in a bin or take with you because anything we find which we can take with us we will put it in the bin and at the moment if it's too big we're leaving it next to the bin but if it's big enough if it's small enough to go in the car we'll put it in the car and we'll take it to the tip so yeah this is a completely separate video just on what should magnet fishers do to clean up the canals legally and not annoy anybody because I don't want this hobby to become outlawed because there's trash all over the banks of the canals I hope that made sense I hope people understand where I'm coming from but as things stand we haven't found anything massive apart from big long pipes and we've managed to get it all in a bin but once we find a shopping trolley or a bike or a safe we haven't got a clue what we're going to do with it I've said we'll just wait until it happens and then just see what happens see what we think at the time but uh, yeah all cast your votes or leave your comments please uh, maybe someone I'd love someone I'd love all the councils one problem is all the councils in Britain are separate there's thousands of councils all over Britain It'd be lovely if it was one council and it could go to like their committee and say right these guys are cleaning up the the canal let's tell them what they should do with the rubbish so if there's anyone from the council consider that uh, if they told us what to do with it we'd do that legally and everyone would be happy we could enjoy his hobby we could clean out the waterways you could get all the trash away from the waterways and everyone's a winner. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Did you hear any of that, Mazzy? Yeah. Do you think I covered that well? Yeah. Yeah. Did you find anything? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. <laughs> She's rubbish. <laughs> okay, I'll leave it at that, guys. Thanks for watching. Please uh, do share this. And, uh, yeah, I really want... I want to get to the bottom of this. I don't want to be breaking laws. I don't want to be one of the people who makes magnet fishing become illegal because we're leaving trash everywhere but we need an answer you can't physically carry a safe or a big dirty bike uh, you can't physically get it in your car so what are you supposed to do with it i'm leaving it at that thanks for joining guys see you later